Starting a business is very really hard, guys. There's gonna be a lot of nights where you're gonna feel like quitting. You have to know yourself. Are you built to do it? Welcome to the Shotties Podcast. I'm Shalom. I'm Shasha. And I'm Sinead. And today we're going to be talking about business. Now, I know some of you guys may be like, oh, business is so boring. No, business can actually be super interesting, especially when making money. And now everyone knows everyone loves money, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. I think business is not fun when it's not successful. Like like when you're just in the, the stages before and you're like, okay, you're just still trying to build it. It's like cooking without eating. You know what I mean? What's the point of cooking if you can't eat it? Ooh, that's a Ooh. good point, Shasha. Ooh. Ooh, and that's true. That's true. Because when you're cooking it, you can't like, you could try tasting things, but you can't taste the flour and have it taste good. Or you can't exactly. taste the salt and it tastes good. That's yeah. a good metaphor. That is a, such a good metaphor. Okay. Yeah, that's like business. You gotta like chop up all the ingredients. Teamwork. Ooh, Ooh. funding. Ooh. 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 Schedule organization. Ooh. Combine Ooh. it all together, you know? That's how it creates a great business. So, oh, and y'all, right here, who's ta- right here, the one who's talking right now, she is the business woman. Okay, like I'm shaking my head because all, all of us are business. boss girls. Okay, okay, we're all boss girls, but Shasha is the epitome. Is that the epitome? Word? Epitome. No, yeah, no. Yeah. We business. definitely us sisters. We work as a team. Like right now, we're trying to build our our new brand, Shotties. Before we built another brand called our Onyx brand. You guys probably know us from that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, there's so much to talk about today. And before we get started, we just want to say that thank you guys so much for watching our first episode. And, you know, we're just looking forward for you guys just to go inside the new year to see more content from us and, you know, just relevant content. You know, we're just not going to talk about business or just like, you know, sort of like a... um, Just like like ourselves. We're just going to talk about relevant, like, content. Just like like pop culture or like what's on the news you know send us some questions or you know because we, we want to do a lot we want to do not just we're gonna talk about ourselves and our lives we'll talk about business relationships right things that are happening in the world or even advice that you guys ask maybe in the comments or something like that everything what i'm trying to say is everything we're gonna talk about everything yes we are gonna talk about everything and Today, we're going to talk about business and not just any business. We're going to talk about our new business that we just started last year. Yeah, not even a whole year ago. Like maybe, okay, so it's January. We started in October. So that's like a little more than three months. That's not even that long. No, Mm -hmm. not at all. Not at all. And yeah, I say that we first kind of started in August you know, with this new well, business. With the idea, started. with the mm-hmm. idea. We started with the idea in around August, maybe late July, but we didn't like fully implement it and launch until end of September, early right. October. Right, right. So what the business we're talking about is our slime business. And a lot of people really think that slime has died down since like 2016, 2017, but it's actually booming right now. Everybody wants slime. Every child, adults that want to relieve their stress, Everybody wants slime. And the thing is, it's not just like the slime you get at Walmart, which is kind of, it's more basic and it's usually not good quality. Mm -hmm. It's not good quality slime. It could be breaky and and cheap filling. But the slime that we're talking about is handmade, quality made, luxury slime, I guess you could call it. Right, right. It's slime that has creativity to it and it has like different textures. It's slime that, uh, that... you, I don't know, when you touch it and you feel it, it's like, for example, like cloud slime. I don't see that in stores. It's, creates, no. it's creative. Yeah, yeah. And this is the type of slime that's not just a stress reliever. It's like fun type of slimes, like where it comes with sprinkles or like some sort of whips made out of like some clay. And it even comes with little trinkets, little um, little, charms little charms and things like that. Yeah. That's why I feel like it's like a new toy, I guess. Or like a decorative item. Or a decorative item because some people just leave it out. They just leave yeah. it out and let it dry out and just make it a, a decoration. That's so true. Yeah, yeah. So right now, let's talk about why we're doing it. 
you know yeah, yeah why like, why is that like our new attention and people are probably even noticing like you know you guys are putting all your focus on the slime business like what about the skits yeah so many people right now are doing slime i've seen so many comments like why is everyone on tiktok doing slime like you can't go one second without scrolling past the slime video it's like everywhere I mean, back in 2017, that was the biggest trend, yeah. slime. You know, you saw YouTubers doing slime challenges, and now you see now story times with people putting ingredients in these slime bowls. And it's just, it's everywhere. It's like 2018 all over again. And now I'm like, now we joined it. But right. why? Why are people so obsessed now? Well, there are a lot of reasons. Number one, people just like the texture of slime. They like They think it's calming, like a stress reliever, you know? I personally, I, I I think I'm more of a toy, not really of a stress reliever. Have you guys ever thought of like, oh, I'm so stressed, I'm gonna play with slime? Not me personally, but I know people do. Cause some people are more fidgety and they like to do things with their hands when yeah, they're stressed. Yeah, right. I like to lay down and relax when I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Another reason why people are obsessed with slime is they like it as a collectibles. Like people literally buy it just to be collecting. Like how people collect toys or like figures. Or comic books. Right, mm -hmm. right. You know, and the reason why more people are even retailing it is because it's such an easy product to go into. Yeah, like, you don't need a license. You don't, you don't need, need to go to like a four-year degree. Yeah, it's yeah. so easy to get into. And, you know, we've been dabbling in some sort of like merchandise over the years. We tried like, you know, creating shirts. We tried creating like, we even partner with the company to even make the your doll, like your little plush toy, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We've been like dabbling for a few years. And this is what we found that works for us really it's, well. It's, I have to say, guys, it's one of the most easiest business we ever started. Oh, well, I would say easy. easy. I would say easy in certain ways. It's easy to start, but I would say it's it's not easy to it's, um, it's, continue to do. It's like it's a, there's a certain difficulty in keeping it up, a certain type of difficulty because, you know, everything is going to have its own difficulty, even YouTube, you know what I mean? Um, but one thing we wanted to touch on is, so we talked about why people were getting into slime, but why did we go into slime? Because a lot, I see a lot of comments and stuff sometimes where people are like, did you guys quit YouTube? Did you guys quit doing skits? Where's the next skit? Where, why are you guys not uploading your videos as much? And where are you guys? So. Yeah, it gives me um the same Rihanna vibes. You know when Rihanna um, was like, no, no music yet, no music yet. We're like, when is the music coming? She mm. finally did release music though. 2023? No, 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 no she no, did no. release a song. She released one song for a movie. Wow, no, I think that was the song. I'm just saying, outside of the movie up. one. Can we not? Can we not get copyrighted? <laughs> <laughs> but literally, like, she hasn't released her an, another album in years. But yeah. she's focused on beauty. And people were like, oh, you know, why is she doing this? But she saw potential in it. And she wanted to try something new. Right. Yeah, and like, that's what like, we're... Hmm? Yeah, I was going to say that, like, you know, once you've been in a routine for so long, it's like you just are so anxious to try something new. Like, you perfect... Like us. I would say we perfected the skit genre. We really were, you know, mm. really good at making, you know, skits and, you know, doing... It was an everyday process of doing, you know, providing you guys content. And it's something that we really enjoyed. We just thought that we just wanted to, you know, provide you guys with even more things. Like, not just content online, but, you know, just products. And I think And that's we haven't something. completely left YouTube or, like, social media. We just upload it in different ways now. So, we, you know, we focus more on shorts and TikToks, reels, just short-form content. And we're still uploading some long-form content. It's just our focus has kind of shifted towards something different that we wanted to endeavor, which is products, retail, and marketing and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, we want the best for you guys. We're like, we're like parents. We're like... And you're our children. We want the best for you guys. So even <laughs> though you don't think not having skits isn't the best, we know what's best for you guys. You guys <laughs> want awesome products, all right? Right, because we're, it's just starting with slime, but we have lots of plans to get into other yeah. things. Yeah, I mean, imagine if we did the same kind of skits we did years ago. Wouldn't that get so boring? Right. We want to give you guys some interesting um, videos. Like, we are still doing our YouTube videos along with our slime business, but now these kind of content we're doing takes longer to, you know, film and stuff. For instance, um, we're filming podcasts and that editing takes a while. So you might see a once a week podcast episode. We want to make sure it's the best quality for you guys. We thought of even doing like short films. So we're thinking of getting studios for it and hiring cameramen. Right. We want the best quality for you guys. We don't want you guys to continue to see, you know, you know, uh, skits for what, filmed on iPhone. Like the same or, old, same old. Yeah. You guys get bored of us. Yeah. We want 
we want high quality for you guys. So we have so many plans coming up. Yeah. Uh, follow our Instagram, Onyx Family, uh, to stay tuned to what we're planning for you guys. Yeah. So yeah. there's there's a lot that we're planning for the future. And we know that you guys miss skits, but you know what? It's like a, a Disney Channel show. It <laughs> runs for a certain amount of time. And then, you know, the actors and stuff and actresses do other things. But who knows? We might come back with more skits, guys. I mean, true, because then I think about how... Raven Simone, she came back for Raven's Home. You have no idea. Yeah. You have no uh, idea. Our, home. Yeah, so shorts, if you guys already know, are super popular. We're thinking of doing our short, our skits, but in shorts form. So I wonder if you guys will like that, you know? Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. All right, so now let's get into the process of, like, making slime. Because, you guys, it's not just, like, something that you – like – we are making a whole business. It's not just something that you can just make in your kitchen. No, this is a huge process to make, especially making thousands of orders. Like, it's a big process. So let's talk about Let's get into that. No, let's get into it? Wait, Should yeah, I get into I thought, it? I thought you were going to just continue. Yeah, that's how it's continue. That's how it's waiting for you. Yeah. Okay, I okay. Well. You. <laughs> well, let's start off with mixers. I feel like that, you know, in the beginning, when we were starting to make slime, we definitely um, started small getting bowls and just, you know, getting the glue, getting bo um, borax and activating like sort of sprays and stuff. Yeah, to just, the like, beginning was off. hard. The beginning was tough because what we didn't realize before getting into slime is that there's a lot of physical working with it. It's oh, a little yeah. bit like, like, I know that in our skits, we'd run around and we'd do whatever. Yeah, but it's different. It's different than like, it's almost like cooking. It's almost like cooking. Like, like and mm -hmm. I... Me personally, I don't cook that much. Nah, I, I need to, but I don't cook that much. But it feels like cooking because you're adding ingredients. Like you're adding ingredients, and then you're moving your hands and stretching things because you got to get the right texture and mix it in properly. It's like whisking. In, you know, how, like you when you whisk stuff and you're just like this. Right, 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 right. And right. it's like your arm is getting tired. That was the yeah, beginning. You, yeah, of but you're when getting we were stronger doing stuff. though. Like it feels good. I mean, yeah. So yeah, so that was in the beginning. And so we decided to invest in mixers. And so we got these two little mixers and, you know, that wasn't enough to make like, you know, thousands of orders. And so recently we just got these two huge mixers. They're, and they're still not the biggest. They're still not that big. They're yeah, no, they're not that big, but they're big enough. And so, yeah, we have about, yeah, a couple mixers right now. And that's really helped. And, you know, these mixers can make up to like 20 to 30, like sort of, sli not 30. Yeah, can I was going to say maybe 30. 30, yeah, yeah it depen depends on how much glue you put inside. But yeah, it can make a significant amount of slime for um, our customers. And so, yeah. Let's talk about the ideas and how we make slime. So, you know, it's really <laughs> making, doing, thinking of ideas to make slime. You know, it's like thinking of a skit. It's like thinking about like, okay, what's the audience going to like today? What's popular? What's trending? Yeah, you, know? you got to consider trending mm. things and you got to consider like what looks appealing and aesthetic. Oh, yeah. Like the other day, Shlum created a slime based off of the newest Avatar movie, Way yes. of the Water. And you guys absolutely loved it. Thank you guys so much for the support. She was hoping that would do really well. Because at first, we were just like, I don't know. I mean, right. Avatar, like, we didn't know how you guys would like it. Because usually, our customers, you guys, like our food slimes and, you know, cutesy slimes. You know, this one was like a blue, like a blue clay mold of like a whipped cream on top. Yeah, and yeah. Thick and glossy slime. So we're like, I guess let's put it up. And it did so well. So, yeah. yeah. So let's talk about, topic. yeah, yeah. I mean, I love pop culture. That's my thing. And yeah. so like making Way of the Water was so fun to make. And it was just like, you know, I'm th I'm really looking forward to the future Um you know, we're making. I can make more pop culture ones, like the Super Mario movie that's coming out later. Yes, this year. Oh my we gotta make and a little Mario. mermaid and a little mermaid. I People have been asking for the little mermaid slime. See, the thing is, I just want to save that to closer to when the when does the movie come out again? May. May. So yeah, like I would, I would get a little mermaid slime closer to May. So when you got, when we're talking about these sort of things, for those who are just not who are unfamiliar with these type of slimes, so we make theme slimes, okay? So there's like food slimes that we make, and I'm sure that our editor will put up some slimes over um, right here on the screen, where we make like ketchup and mustard, and that's based on our video that mm -hmm. ketchup versus mustard, and you know we would just have like a slime that's matching like the color of ketchup and mustard, and we will put like a label, we will design labels that are just like sort of like a ketchup and mustard sort of like similarity yeah. to right right so basically all of our slimes are aesthetic that's that's what slime shops do they make it aesthetic it's right. not just basic it's not just gonna be like this is green slime 
this is red slime. It's not like that. It's more thematic. It's very, the charms, very creative. The molds and everything, even the labels, down to the labels, everything and texture because you want to give an experience, I guess. Right, right, right. It's like an amusement park. You, you go to different yeah. places and you just want to be like, okay, yeah, this is what you're going to get here. This is where you're going to get here. And so we're like, okay, yeah. Like um, one of our most popular ones are galaxy slimes. And so that's like has a sort of like sparkly glitters that we get inside. And, you know, we make the label some sort of like spaceship sort of like, you know, sort of look. Yeah. And we have like stars. And so, you know, thinking of ideas like that, you know, it takes it takes a lot to think, you know, you guys like every week we have to put out new slimes and just have new ideas i would say that that part has been i mean i know in the past we used to upload daily with our skits and that was definitely a brain like that was something straining it was straining mentally to think of an idea every single day for like two three different channels and so we kind of slowed down for a little bit but now it's like we got to come up with new slimes every single week because we launch weekly and since we've been out of the practice a little bit of like weekly ideas every single week and you can't stop you can't just stop with ideas and be like, oh, we're just going to skip this mm-hmm. week. We you can't really do that. You can't do that with the slime shop. You got to you gotta be consistent. And so that's why. Because the audience is expecting something new. So you got to be thinking of ideas like that. You got to be innovative. You got to be... One thing about creativity is you got to be like... I think that there's a mix. One, you can't be too consuming of a lot of media because you don't want a lot of other ideas to impact your right, creativity. Right. But then you also do need to consume other media because then it'll help you... Um, generate ideas so it's like a balance you know what I mean do I make am I making sense yeah 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 you're making a whole lot of sense you know with all these new ideas we have to really up our inventory and so that would mean new scents you know some of our slimes come with these sort of scents that makes it smell good like a cookie sort of like slime that we make we will get like a cookie scent or like recently since Christmas we put out like sort of Christmassy sort of like um slimes and so we would get like peppermint like some sort of like scents to like put inside the like a cookie sort of like slime that we make we would get like a cookie scent or like recently since christmas we put out like sort of christmasy sort of like slimes and so we would get like peppermint like some sort of like scents to like put inside the slime and they're really they smell really good you know we would get a lot of charms that kind of match up with the theme like a christmas one and we get like little candy canes and stuff and so like keeping up with inventory was something like of a challenge but it was also something that really you know pushed us to be like you know look and just think of new mm, ways and ideas. ideas i think that what a lot of people are probably wondering is should they get into starting their own business because a lot of people they're like okay can i even get into retail can i even get into like outside of social media but just their own starting a business like a startup entrepreneurship I, wonder, I think a lot of people wonder, is it possible? How hard is it? Is it something worth putting the time and effort into? What would you think, Shasha? Spoiler alert, it's very hard. I <laughs> Starting a business is very really hard, guys. There's going to be a lot of nights where you're going to feel like quitting. There's going to be a lot of days where you just, you, you are just down to the ground. You're just like, I don't even know if this is going to work. There were some days where we're just like, okay, we need to come up with a slime. Hours before launch and creative burnout. We have creative burnout. There's days where like you don't feel like getting out of bed because it's like, is it gonna be? Is it gonna be worth it? So I feel like it's for certain people. You have to be super motivated. This has to be like your child. You want to yeah, get it's out like there a child. and right. raise it. You have to love it more than your employees. You have to love it more than than the person that you're working with. It's going to come with a lot of dedication. I, I like saying that's a child because like when you have a child, you can't just be like, I'm going I'm to forget about you for a day. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't just be like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to feed you today. Even with a dog. And a dog. You can't do that with a dog either. And um, having a dog is like having a child because you got to be like, oh, you know, you got to go outside and then you got to feed right. it. Like, you can't like just forget because it's a living thing. And I feel like people do that. Oh, what did you say? What I was about to say um, that if you leave a child hungry, then like for a day then they're gonna be weaker the next day because they haven't eaten in a day wow. right so your business if you're not feeding into it for even a day if you're not feeding into it for a week if you're like you know what i'm gonna take a month break because not i'm not saying a month break after you've kind of made it i'm saying a month break when you're still building it and if you're like i'm gonna take a month break because i just can't do this and you're discouraged that's gonna make whatever you did build weaker and it's just gonna make it harder to mm, get back yeah. to that, that and moment. i feel yeah like you said you know 
it's not something that you can be on and off, you know? You got to really just stick in there and be really consistent. All right. Yeah, consistency is definitely something that you really need to, you know, think of when you go into retail. Right, not just retail, but like any Anything. business you start. Right. Any business. Consistency is so so key. And you you got to make sure you're ready for it, honestly. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you know, I don't really want to go to college because I really want to start my own business. I don't really want to, uh, I don't want to follow the same path that other people have followed. And good for you. Just remember, just know what you're getting into. Know what you're getting into. Mm -hmm. And have a good idea. Just, just, you know what? If you have your idea, go for it. I still encourage people to go for it. Just know it's going to be hard. Just know that. Um, yeah, basically, it's, it's just benefits. choose your it's just choose your heart. It is choose your heart because there's there's always pros and cons to whether you go to college, go to a nine to five or whatever versus, you know, a small business, which will eventually become large business. You know what I mean? There's benefits, which is like, you know, you work for yourself. You control your hours. Well, I would say this. You control your hours, but sometimes you will still work more than the average person. But the thing is, it's like you're your own boss and you're telling yourself to do those those extra hours. We've worked overtime several times before because we knew that we needed to get some things done. But we still in control of our hours. You know what I mean? It's not like someone else is telling us to do this. But yeah, that's like one of the benefits that you get to control your day. You get to control your schedule. You get to control if you're... If you are putting in the work, you kind of control how much money you make because it's like, you know, if you put this much effort into it, eventually mm -hmm. you're going to make this much. You know what I mean? Yeah. So definitely I whenever you do, even if you have a nine to five, or even if you go to college, you have to still put the same kind of consistent effort in. So, you know what? Just see. Are you willing to do work, a thankless work every day? Are you willing to do that kind of uh, dedication? And, you know, see if it's it's work for you. You know, because some people, not everyone's built to be entrepreneur, you know? Yeah, that's no. another thing. That's why I said know what you're getting into. A lot of people think that entrepreneurship is easier than a nine to five. I argue to say it's actually significantly harder. It's, it's very hard. Yeah. Because you're starting something from scratch. And a lot of people are not, and also you kind of have to be your own leader. And some people, mm. and this is not a bad thing. Some people are not built for leadership. Yeah. And some people are not built for tell, even telling themselves what to do. And they need to be told by other people to mm. direct them. Because maybe someone else's mind is a little more organized. Or they're a little bit more, right. um, I don't know, they're able to just organize their day and everything. And organize the steps of how to do something. And not everybody is built like that. So that's why yeah. it would be harder for that person to start a business by themselves especially because most people are starting by themselves most people don't have a team right you know? right and it's not bad i'm i don't think it's bad to be in a nine to five it's not bad to be in a nine to five because we need those people to even run our whole economy it's just you got to consider whether whether it's built for you to do a business you know what i mean right honestly if i didn't have you guys and our parents i would i, I would probably not do this <laughs> it's just you got to know yourself you have to know yourself. Are you built to do it? Not everybody's built to do it. And that's completely fine. Not everybody has to be an entrepreneur. We're just talking for the people who want to be entrepreneurs and, you know, know what you're getting into. Yeah. Even building like a gaming channel per se. I feel like that's entrepreneurship because it's like you're building your own business. Well, yeah. Like your channel. Yeah. Like even building like a YouTube channel. That's in itself an entrepreneur move. Yeah. Because that's, that's not the typical, you know, nine to five stuff. Right. Right. Okay, now I feel like we've been way too like negative about business. I don't want to turn you guys off. So let's feed you guys some motivation that there are a lot of young entrepreneurs that are really making it these days. Oh, yeah. So and the thing is, and also, I know we were talking a lot about slime, but we're, there's a lot of other businesses, yeah. obviously. So if you're not into slime, slime you, can, you can do some other stuff. Yes. For example, I the other day, recently, I would say a few months ago, like recently, recent, Marseille Martin, she already has her own production company. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so that's in itself. That's amazing. Her own she's business. probably, I think she's the youngest um, person to open up her production company. Really? Is she? I think so. Or at least one, one of, of the youngest. youngest. And I feel like that, that is amazing. That's an amazing thing to do at her. She just turned 18, I think. And she opened it when she was 17. So she, she does 19. that. 19? No, she just turned 18. Are you serious? Marcy Martin wow. just turned 18, I think. That's amazing. Yeah. At her age? Yeah. So oh, at her age, she has a production company. And then recently, what I was talking about is that yeah. she started a nail business. I don't know if it's like, yeah, Press On Nails, I think. Is it that? I think it's Press On Nails. And yeah, stuff. Marcy Martin is the youngest person to executive produce a studio film. 
Yeah. Oh, that, which, the, which film was that again? I don't know. It was Little, remember? Yeah. She pro- oh, yeah, that's yeah. That's crazy. She's the youngest executive producer. So she was a producer because she has a you know, studio now. That's crazy. Yes. She's someone who I see doing big things oh, as yeah. an entrepreneur. Like, I don't see her as just a actress. I see her definitely as an entrepreneur, a business owner. And I feel like you got to do that Do that these days. Like, if you're going to do one thing, you got to do another thing and you know, add it to it, you know? <laughs> I love so it's called Mari by Marseille. Mari Nanny? Mary Mary Mari. There's Mari. It's it's reusable press on nails. First of all, I love that because I do not want to get like acrylic nails. Yeah. I also have to keep it in for like months and blah blah blah. blah. Like I would rather just throw them out, reuse them, and you know. Yeah, guys. Because if you guys notice, if you guys go to our Instagrams, we don't really wear nails that much at all. In fact, you probably will see none of our Instagrams. Yeah, have all nails. of the ASMR slime videos we film are all press on nails. Yeah, we should definitely try out her press on nails. Yeah, I would definitely do that. I would do that we too. Should. I know that a lot of people get into beauty these days. Actually, would you ever yeah. consider starting a beauty brand, guys? Like a just a. I can beauty, see it. Uh, I can see us doing that. Like makeup or skincare. Yeah, a lot of people are doing that these days. That's the that's I feel like besides like in another genre, you know how like we said slime is super popular. Beauty brands is very popular. Yeah, in fact, it's really popular. I feel like a lot of smaller beauty businesses are pushing and not just smaller, smaller beauty businesses and influencer beauty businesses and celebrity beauty businesses are pushing the old competitors out of the scene. For mm. example, Morph Cosmetics. I think that they're shutting down a lot of their production mm-hmm. because they're not, you know, they're not as popular anymore. They're the same company that did James Charles and Jeffree Star's palettes. Right, right. Ooh. So I heard that they are like, you know, they're slowing down production or shutting down whatever, something like that. And meanwhile, all these other businesses, um, beauty businesses are booming. Like the beauty industry is kind of changing. There's a lot of influencers in it now. There's a lot of celebrities in it now. So like you see Rare Beauty with Selena Gomez. You see um, Kylie Jenner, of course. You see Fenty Beauty. Right. You see, um, um, what's it called? Um, there's this one called like Crayon Cosmetics or I forgot what it was called, but it's like a, ra- it's a black owned business that does focuses like school product type then there's be- bakery i think that's beauty bakery or something mm-hmm. like that that does it themed around bakery stuff like people are be- being very innovative with the beauty industry and i think it's making the 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 old ones kind of like fade they, out they're fade out because they they're not as um innovative with their ideas mm-hmm. their ideas are, are the same as they, they were before you yeah. know what i mean yeah you know right. people that are new on the scene they're like how can i change this how can i flip it on its head you know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. why, and that's why I encourage entrepreneurship because you can get on the scene and flip it on its head. Water industry. People, I I just heard of this water recently within the last few months. Um, Liquid Death. Yeah. That's a new water on the scene. I've never seen Liquid Death before. It was only like Aquafina, Dasani, and, and Fiji. Yeah, and they have an interesting market. They cater to... Uh, they, um, they said that they cater to people who are at parties and if they don't want to drink because they don't want to drink alcohol they say you know drink this that people don't ask you to drink alcohol they cater to places where they bands play like rock bands play they cater to like basically like that you know, audience, edgy right, right. boys and stuff. Even having it in a can instead of like a bottle yeah. is different. Um, also that's, another that's the, that's the water. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because I saw Shiloh drinking it the other day, and I was like, "What are you drinking?" And I was, he was like, "Oh, I saw like death water." I was like, "That's water." That's yeah, so- yeah, that's the thing. So they're they're reaching a market of people who like probably don't think water is cool, right? Yeah, you know but they I mean? make it cool. And also, Jaden Smith, he um he was one of the co-founders of Just Water. You know, right? It's another water that came to the water industry. I think I want to emphasize that even if you see an industry that looks like it's overtaken by like huge corporations. You still can if you work hard enough yeah. and are innovative. You can still dominate the market and come on the scene. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, like Cause, yeah, because even um, what was it called again? What was the pink, pink that the pink, pink sauce? Pink sauce. There's so many sauces. Uh, you ketchup, could be like ranch and mayo, there's like yeah, ranch and what was it? Ketchup brand. Ketchup and mustard Heinz. Heinz. You could be right. like, oh, there's too many sauces. It's barbecue sauce. Who who wants a new sauce? Everybody likes you know their honey mustard and their their chipotle sauce whatever and this woman she created pink sauce and it was a hit even though yeah of course it it had struggles but i still commend her for creating something and going forward with it even if the market seems saturated you Mm -hmm. know what i mean yeah the market is never as saturated as you think it's never as saturated as you think that's a good point yeah 
Wow, that's because one excuse people, not excuse, but one worry people think is, you know, is the market too saturated? And you don't want to go too niche that now you have like nobody. one. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> but so, yeah, but you can still, you can still niche a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's an industry that you would think is oversaturated right now? Oversaturated right I now. I would say search engines. Search Ooh. engines. I think that you're just being intimidated by Google and what's well, called DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo. And now, and Yahoo. So it's like, yeah. how do you get into it? I don't think it? anybody uses Yahoo. Yahoo. I used to love Yahoo back in 2012, but I used to love <laughs> Yahoo. Yeah, you might think that, oh, there can be a never another search, search engine. engine. But then DuckDuckGo came and then people were like, oh, I love how I get to, you know, just another search engine. Well, first you know? of all, let's talk about how search engines will eventually be out of out of the ringer Ooh. just because of AI. Oh, my goodness. And just from, like, you know, chat GPT where you can ask it anything. It's basically like Google. You ask it anything, it will give you the answer. Yeah, so chat GTP, chat, chat GTP. No, no, chat GPT. Chat GPT is started by Microsoft and it actually came public like two months ago in November and hundreds of millions of people are flooding it because it's just this AI that can answer anything. Yes, I anything. love it. I love it so far. I already made my account. It's awesome, guys. So guys, if you guys say, okay, write me a story about a turtle who is drinking tea in New Hampshire. It will literally write the story. If you say, yeah. write an essay, a 500, a 50 page essay on why Albert Einstein was the greatest scientist, it would do that. It will do right, that. Right, right. And that's why I say that that could actually take over search engines, yes. especially once it's connected to internet. Because right now it doesn't, it's not connected to like internet. But once it does, it'll Ooh. be like, you know what I mean? So it, that's, yeah. It's like, Search engines. You think it's saturated, but it's not. What's but it's another actually not. Energy? What's another thing that's like, it might seem oversaturated? I don't know. The search engines was such a great point. I never heard of DuckDuckGo, but the AI definitely is, you know, yeah. one of the biggest things that we can, you know. I think implement. social media seems like oversaturated. Well, it's not saturated, but it seems like hard to get into because people are like, oh, all I go on is Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I don't think YouTube counts as social media. So I'm going to say Twitter, Instagram, but TikTok. YouTube is Oh, social it's not media. social media. It's like more of a video watching place. Now, if you, I would say that that's like the only place people watch videos for content. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no other YouTube. So I can there's see no that. Other YouTube. Yeah, there's like, no other no, YouTube. Like, yeah, there's no place like YouTube. There's no place like YouTube. So if someone would, now I would say it'd probably be super difficult to be able to create <laughs> something else like YouTube, but it could be possible because tick, so everybody was using Snapchat at some point. Everyone. Everybody. And now I people know a use, lot of people I feel still like use people, it. No, I feel like people use Instagram more so than t- from, than Snapchat. A lot of people still use Snapchat, I've heard, but it's just not as mainstream as it was before. Like a lot of people still do use Snapchat, but not as much. I think more people use TikTok now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Also, another thing that was new. I mean, not new, new, but Twitter was new in the scene. Like, yeah. No, that's true. That's Twitter so true. And Twitter was about to shut down at some point until the elections, I think. And then yeah. a, a lot of people got on. I so, got on Twitter after the elections. I was like. Yeah, like 2016 elections, I think. Yeah. So even social, social media, media, you can create. Even Be Real is new. And Be a lot Real of people use Be Real. You yeah. know what I mean? It's the app where once in everyone in the whole entire world has to take a picture, no matter where you are at the same time. That's right. what's called Be Real because it's real. I like the edge because everyone's like, Instagram is fake. Well, now they've got an app that's like, you can be real here. Right, right. You can't just pose, whatever. So I think that, I think social media is a saturated market that you can still get into if you have an innovative idea. Wait, wait, can we go back to the YouTube topic? Because I just remember TikTok exists. Exactly. Yeah. TikTok. And they're interesting five minute videos. A, right. TikTok um, kind of flipped the market on a lot of social media, actually. It really they, Once TikTok, well, it was musically before, but once it came on the scene and became TikTok, Instagram all of a sudden had reels, YouTube had shorts and things like that. They didn't, those social media platforms did not have short form content no. until TikTok. So they kind of revolutionized the market. So basically you can create something that revolutionized the market. Snapchat revolutionized the market because nobody had stories until Snapchat. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, now everyone crazy. has stories, every single one. Yeah, and now yeah. Instagram has this thing that's kind of like a tweet where it's like you have your thought bubble. It's it's interesting. That's weird, but I feel like I can see I can see the potential in it. But even let's just even go out of the entertainment realm, even to like 
the dentist industry that you think is oversaturated. Like right. places like um, what was it called again? We put the things in your teeth instead of braces. Invisalign. Invisalign like, that, was revolutionary. Right. People would think that oh, everybody gets braces. Who would want something else? And then someone creates Invisalign. And there was another one too. I think Small Direct. Small Direct, Small so- Direct Club. Yeah. Like even even people are just getting into even the dentist industry and changing it. Right. I so agree. any I industry agree. that you see out there. Not even just online, but just any industry that you see out there. Even if it looks oversaturated, there's always room in the market for innovation because yes. everything gets better. If people were like, um, oh, nobody wants electricity because everybody uses candles in their houses, <laughs> then where would we be if yeah. nobody created electricity? And they were like, no, there was a, I'm sure back in the day, there was a huge booming candle industry of people who made candles to put in your yeah. house. I'm sure there was a booming industry. But then electricity happened and we got the light bulb and now where's candles now we only use it for scents and for good smells we don't use it for light right and even <laughs> like even then y'all are afraid of even lighting one I yeah like i mean like I, I feel like there's more of a fire hazard with candles and everything there's but anyway no fire hazard it's like one of the safest things you can have anyways ev- any industry guys any industry you can think of if you innovate it you can literally change the whole scene and that's our encouragement in going into entrepreneurship. Yeah. No idea is too bad. Just no idea. Keep on tweaking. Keep tweaking it. Keep tweaking. Yeah. I like that. Just keep on tweaking. <laughs> Just keep on sw- swimming like the Nemo yes. quote. He's sw- <laughs> Just keep tweaking, just keep tweaking. All right, but yeah, that is the podcast today, guys. Thank you so much for joining us in this talk. If you have any questions for those watching the video, you know, leave a comment below on any questions you want answered, advice you want heard, you know what I mean? So thank you so much for watching and joining and listening, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Bye. Bye. Rock making fun.